Hello, ACUI. This is Ryan O'Connell from Buffalo, New York. I'm uh, happy to be joining you today. I wish I could be there, but uh, I hope you all are having a great conference. And I'd like to share some of the cloud apps that I have been recently interested in online. The first one I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is Duolingo. Duolingo is a website that helps you learn new languages. It is uh, actually a very, it's a free website, so it's a little bit different from uh, the kind that you see maybe in the airport or in the mall. Uh, and it is, uh, it's also a mobile site, so you can also use it on your cell phones or your tablet devices. And what does it really turns a new language into a game where you accumulate points over after going through some lessons? So you can see that I just started a little bit of the basics here on French, and it's really fun to just kind of jump in. You can always jump in and uh, uh, just play with small little games that helps you learn the language itself. Now, the nice thing about it, the cool thing about it is that it is a game. And so you can see down here that uh, one of my friends, Corbin Smythe, shout out to him. He's got way more points than I do. He's been accumulating uh, points at a much uh, faster rate. Once again, it's called Duolingo. It's actually made by the folks who, who created reCAPTCHA, which are those little boxes. You have to type in the, the words that are hard to read uh, into, uh, into the box to get mobile transactions, things like that to happen. Um, and that's actually a cool technology, too. It comes, from, it comes out of, uh, out of uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, in Philadelphia. So it's a really interesting website. So that's Duolingo, uh, Duolingo. The next app I have to show you is called OwnCloud. OwnCloud is a private cloud-based storage system for your, your files. Very similar to Box.net, Dropbox, even Google Docs, where it keeps track or Drive, where it keeps track of all of your uh, all of your uh, files. You can sync it to a, a folder on your computer. But the really cool thing about it is that it's free, number one, and number two, that it is very private. It's only available to you. So you could you install it on your own server. You can customize it however you wish to. You can put your own logos on it, etc. And it keeps all of your files away from anyone else's file. You also don't have to, to agree to any end end of or end user agreements that may or may not expose your data to other uh, third party services. So let me give you a, a little uh, demo here of what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you have it installed onto your own device or on your own uh, server. And when you log in as a user here, and you can create multiple users if you'd like, so you can partition it out so that other members of your family or your colleagues can use it as well. Uh, you can see that there's a folder here for ACUI. If I click into that and do the upload uh, button, this will allow me to pick a, uh, a presentation or a file to upload. Here I'm uploading the, the uh, uh, an original slide for this uh, presentation. And from there I can share it via a, sh a simple share button here. I can also create a link for it. You can even password protect it and expire the 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 file so that if you only want it to be available to someone for a certain period of time, you can do, you can set that period of time. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see there's also these other applications. There's a calendar that'll sync with your uh, Google Calendar or other calendars, uh, a contacts list, a music file, a uh, music folder, a pictures folder, and then actually there's a whole bunch of additional apps that you can add via the settings menu as well. So it's a really kind of interesting uh, personalized uh, cloud service that lets you get in your data all in one place. Again, it will sync to folders on your on your uh, desktop. It's called ownthecloud.org. That's where you can go to find out more information about it. The next one is, I actually don't have a demo for you, but it's called Viva Pitch. It's a very uh, recently added new app to the Google Play Store, uh, but it's also going to be available for Apple, Apple devices very shortly. Um, it's something I found out about on a, on a website that does early adopter stuff, and it's, it's kind of cool because what it does is it allows your presentations, like many of the ones that you're seeing to this week at the conference, to be both on the screen in front of you, but also in the hands of your attendees. So their mobile devices, their tablets, you can claim those screens, so to speak, by putting your, your presentation on those screens as well. And what's nice about that is whenever you have a, a, a very detailed graphic or data that's on a graph that's hard to read from far away, you can put that right on the screen of the person as they're sitting in your seats at the back of the room, and they can pinch in and, and zoom in on those uh, different types of uh, uh, data if they like to. So as I mentioned, it's available for Google, uh, Google Android right now, uh, but it's also going to be available for 
uh, the Apple devices shortly. So you can see that this is the, the actual presentation history on this particular uh, Android device. So it's kind of a cool little, uh, cool little presentation piece. Might might work very well if you're doing presentations with students because they're going to have their phones out, so you might as well take over their screen uh, for, them, for uh, your own purposes. It's called vivapitch.com. The next app is something called the Mad Video. It's pretty cool. Uh, what it does is it allows you to uh, put contextually organized count, uh, contextually organized menus on top of video. So here you can see we have this video of this uh, person skateboarding down the, down the street in San Francisco. And what you can do is when you roll over it, this is a YouTube video. When you roll over it, you get the option to take a look at some uh, menu items here. So if I click on the the shoe menu item, it's going to let me see information about the shoe that this that this guy's wearing. Really cool idea, if potentially for union tours, maybe uh, advertising for for a program or an event that you're going to be putting on uh, coming up here at the end of the semester. It's kind of a, a nice idea to be able to throw some additional contextual uh, menus over the top of video. That's called the Mad Video, and it's at the MadVideo.com. My final app here is not really an app, it's more of a service, but it's, a, it's pretty awesome. It's one that I've, I've been using for the last couple of months. Uh, it's called Freedom Pop, and you're going to see a lot of these start to come up, which are they're basically a service to help you get wireless Internet at a very reduced rate. Uh, there's also one called Ting out there as well where you can pay by the megabyte. So what this service does is it allows you to, what you first need to do is buy one of their devices, and this is a USB stick for your laptop. This is a little puck, it's about the size of a wallet that you can use to create a mobile hotspot. And then there's actually an iPod jacket here as well that will go over the back of your iPod touch. And these devices are all 4G devices, and what they'll do is they'll connect to the 4G uh, network in the city that you're in and allow you to create an internet uh, hotspot for free. Now, when I say for free, I mean only 500 megabytes of total uh, usage here. So here's um, the total limit here. But what Freedom Pop allows you to do is to earn additional megabytes by completing offers or surveys or inviting friends as well. So you can actually pump up your monthly total to uh, well over uh, 5 gigs of, uh, of data, which is great if you're going to be going on a trip or conferences, for instance, there in St. Louis, I was going to, if I was going to attend this year, I was going to use Freedom Pop as my, as my, uh, 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 my wireless provider. Uh, although it sounds like the conference has wireless this year, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so one thing that's nice about this is it, it is 4G. So if you've never experienced 4G before, this is a great way to kind of get into it. Uh, it is only available in certain markets, though, because they're only doing it in the, some of the major metropolitan areas. So you need to check their coverage map. Uh, to make sure that your city is going to be actually covered. So, for instance, Buffalo is not covered. However, a lot of the places where I travel are covered. So I've, I actually purchased mine so that when I travel, I have additional high-speed Internet, and I don't have to pay for hotel Internet. So those are the five uh, apps that I'm really excited about that I've been using over the last couple of months, and I hope you uh, think that they're kind of cool too. And uh, please just go explore and find new things and share with me what you found. Uh, I'm Ryan O'Connell. I'm from Buffalo, New York. My Twitter handle is Higher Ed Ryan. I wish I could be there, but I can't. So I hope you all have a wonderful uh, conference, and I'll see you next year.